Hello everybody, it's Scott Wilson here, and welcome to the next video on um, this uh, this dual stick shooter game. In the last one, we, whenever we hit play, we actually ran into a one main issue where the bullets were actually just bouncing off the the enemies like so, um, which we do need to fix. And another bug we have is that they also bounce off the walls, which we, we typically don't want. So let's just go about fixing these. Um, so I'm just going to bring over my use script editor here and currently I'm in the bullet script so you will need to make sure that you're inside the bullet script and what we're going to do is we're going to iterate a wee bit on the on the collision part which I actually have set up wrong so I do apologize for that um, after a bit of research I have actually found the, the correct way of doing it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this oh actually I'm going to delete these two going to delete this node here. I'm going to keep this enemy variable here and <coughs> what this variable was is just a simple string and um, which we're going to use for tags. Um, for instance we're going to uh, we're just going to delete game object and we're going to right click and add a variable uh, called owner game object because we want this to happen for itself. We want the collision to work whenever itself being the bullet actually hit something. Under triggered by what we're going to do is we're just going to right click and add a, a another game object variable. Not the owner but just standard game object variable. So what we want to do is every time you collide or a bullet collides with an object we want to write that object into this blank piece of data. Then what we want to do is we're just going to bring destroy across a bit. We're going to delete this wire and the new node that I've um, recently discovered is called um, compare tag, oops not that one, I'm just going to type in tag and it's called uh, game object has tag. So I'm going to click on that and what this does is before we actually destroy the object we are just going to indeed run a check to make sure that the object that's, that we have hit has the tag of enemy. So as soon as a bullet collides or enters um, another guy's collision or another actor game object's collision. We're going to check to see if it has at least the enemy tag or has all the tags which is enemy. So we're going to check to see if a game object has this tag but we need to actually say what have we hit and that's why we have this guy here called trigger by. So all we do is we hook up the game object into here. So what happens is when self being the bullet collides with anything the game's then going to check well what tag um, or it's going to compare a tag for a game object. The, the game object that it's, going to, that it's going to do a check on is the object that the bullet hit and then we're going to check to make sure we have the enemy tag and if we actually just look at our bullet prefab um, sorry our enemy prefab we can indeed see that it has the enemy prefab or tag. So if it has all these tags then we're going to destroy um, the bullet and we also have it set up so that the enemy will be destroyed in the other script. So that will just fix the issue that the, the bullet wasn't being destroyed properly. So with that I'm going to file and save. This is going to compile the script and we're just going to try this out. Ah, we'll just wait for an enemy to come on the screen here and we'll give this a try. And now what you see is the enemy um, takes the bullet, takes two and three should kill him, like so. Now we need to do the same for the wall, which is quite easy. Let me just double check that this does work, which it does. So let's now tackle the walls and we'll do it in the exact same manner. For the walls I'm going to select all four of them and I'm going to go into tags and I'm going to add a new tag. I'm going to call this a uh, wall. And then I'm going to go back to those four objects. One, two, three, four. I'm just holding down the control key. And under tag, I'm going to set that to wall. Then I'm going to go back into uscript. So press uh, control and new, or you can go into tools, detox studios, and uscript editor. And what we're going to do is we're literally just going to. Uh, copy this guy and we're going to say on collision enter we're going to check if the game object has a tag 
Um, the game object again is uh, this one here. Or we'll just copy and paste that, sorry. Oh, sorry, just do that. My bad. Then we're going to say if the game object has all tags of a certain type. Again, I'm just going to copy this enemy tag, paste it down. But instead of it being enemy, I'm going to type in wall. I'm just going to make sure my spelling is correct here. Which it is, capital W. And then we're going to say um, destroy self. So what we can literally do is just copy those two and paste. So it has those tags, destroy the bullet as well. So if a bullet hits the wall, it will destroy itself. File and S to save, or file and save to save your work. And we will just double check that this actually works. I'm just going to approach a wall here. I'm going to shoot it. And indeed, it should have disappeared, like so. So now our bullets are um, dying whenever they hit the wall, which is what we would expect. Okay. So with that guys, that was just some bug fixes. We have now fixed the bullets colliding with enemies and with walls. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.